Chonkster McGee the Fourth. I mean, the real Morgan YouTube channel. Hello, nerdaronis. This one should be pretty fun. Can you beat Kingdom Rush Origins on Veteran with just Sorcerers and Ignis, the Chonk Man himself? This tower is not allowed, but Chonk is probably the best hero in this game because he just does massive amounts of area true damage all the time. He moves at a pretty good speed. He heals. It, he's unbelievable. You got to use him. I think I would personally put him and probably Elora, the Ice Queen. Uh, I can't think of anyone else off the top of my the top of my head, but those two belong in S tier in this game. So this hero is freaking awesome. I don't have any worries at all about this challenge. Now, when I'm first trying this level, I thought I should limit myself to only upgrading meteors. That way I kind of have the theme of, you know, orange guys, good, use orange only, that kind of a thing. But no, it's not this level. It, it, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I need to watch the footage. I need to be patient. See, I'm rushing even with my freaking voiceovers. Now, I probably should have stuck it out, but with how hard the last level is going to be, I decided to not make there any upgrade restrictions and to just beat this game with Sorcerers and Ignis because orange. That, that's all you need to know, orange. So this level is not too bad. The freaking amazingness about these orange towers, these Sorcerers, are the golems the golems cost 350 gold and they spawn you an elemental made out of rock that is just incredible now i hardly ever use the sheep ability for this but it's actually pretty good too now it does make it so that the sheep still has a lot of hp when it transmorphalizes or whatever somebody into a sheep and then they go strolling by waiting to be cooked into a little lamb chop it's kind of like an insta kill you know at least it can turn something like a dark slayer or a troll chieftain or some tough enemy into just like a helpless little sheep that's pretty cool because then you can slaughter them and that's what we do we kill everything in our path now this level i thought this level was going to be harder honestly but this sorcerer tower i don't know I would love for you guys to comment. I might make a poll about it. Do you think this Sorcerer Tower belongs in A tier or S tier? I'm kind of torn in between. I almost want to put it in like A plus. But when I think of S tier, I usually think of towers that need to be nerfed. Or towers that just break the game and can handle everything. So in general, I usually only put Tesla and Mecha in s tier because you can spam them and they break the game they're just so good they they kill everything they have no weakness and really i feel like they're the only ones that belong there do you think this tower belongs in s tier i am gonna make a tier list eventually so i do care about your input and for those of you who love this tower you know it's hard to not be biased and just put our favorite towers in s tier because then i'd be putting swamp thing the shrek man himself in s tier every time but honestly he doesn't belong in s tier because he doesn't break the game he's very good but you know towers like that are just strong a towers a tier towers i'm stupid i can't talk but yeah so shrek is a this is probably a as well you know the sorcerers there's well, what do you guys think? Genuinely, I want you to comment and tell me what you think below. So don't forget to do that because I love reading your silly comments. And if you guys want to send me more art, I'll put my Discord name. It's the Real Morgan six two three four. That you can friend me. I don't have like a very uh, <laughs> high amount of effort that I put into my Discord server because I just rarely go on Discord. But if you want to talk to me directly, so we can like text or something, or send me some art or you know things like that then get discord and friend me on there the real morgan 6234 now this level is really the only difficult level in this entire challenge yeah we're already at the last level we're doing it on veteran veteran doesn't seem insanely harder than normal when i play this but maybe it's because i've been playing this game for 10 years or so at this point but yeah there's a decent amount of spiders on this and 
Honestly, you know, since we only had to use level 3 towers for Ice Wind Pass, you know, the level where you first unlock Big Bertha with the Frozen Sasquatch and a lot of spiders, that's probably like your biggest challenge. But it was also really hard because I was trying to do it with basically no upgrades. And yeah, I, I couldn't do it, but I'm sure if I played it again, I could. But anyways, if one of you guys want to do a modified version of this challenge and try it with like no upgrades or just meteors or something, I would highly recommend that, especially if, uh, you know, you want a good challenge or something. But I had a lot of people asking for this over months, so I thought I'd finally do it. And hey, we take down the boss. Easy, man. This challenge just flew by. Very easy. Pretty much just as easy as the Bone Heart with Necromancer challenge, so... I'm glad you could at least watch it, listen to me ramble. Thanks for watching, guys. Like or subscribe or something. I know, I love just watching the credits, but I've never really watched them before. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Like and subscribe or something. La-dee-frickin-da.